Kareem McNeil, former Alabama offensive lineman, and uh, joined us on the program just a couple of weeks ago. But today, uh, unfortunately, joining us under uh, circumstances that we'd rather not have to uh, to talk about. But uh, Kareem's been kind enough to join us for some memories of D- Jeremy Nunley, the former Alabama and NFL defensive lineman, member of the 1992 National Championship team, uh, passed away last night. And Kareem, of course, played with with Jeremy Nunley. Kareem, I hate we got to bring you on to discuss uh, a topic like this, but I know all the former teammates uh, I've talked to several or texted with several already, and uh, uh, everybody's just kind of in shock at the passing of Jeremy Nunley. Well, absolutely. Uh, first off, um, thought, uh, thoughts and prayers go out to his wife, Marty, and his girls and, and his whole family. Um, very, very sad to hear um I just couldn't have been more shocked uh, when I heard the news, and you know, somebody texted me last night and and wanted had asked me that I heard and I know, and, and I started making some some phone calls and checks, and and then found out it was true, and just I just hate to hear something like that. Absolutely, um, that team. I, I talked about this earlier in the show. That uh, '92 team. Um, and of course, you played a couple years after, and he played in '93. But that '92 team, I had a special bond. That was the first national championship team at Alabama since '79. There wasn't another one until 2009. And I know all you guys that were part of that 13 and 0 season under uh, Gene Stallings. There, there, there's a all teams have a bond, but that team seems to really have something that uh, that keeps you guys connected. Well, absolutely. Um, the, that group of guys. Uh... Uh, I, I felt like we were very close. Uh, we we uh, laid it on the line for each other, and and it was just a fun bunch of guys, uh, guys that enjoyed being around each other, enjoyed playing the game of football, and just just enjoyed being around each other. And Jeremy certainly was a big part of that. Um, you know, we all kidded around, and and he 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 liked to tell jokes and kid around. With the guys and and with me in particular, and and um, it's just just a tremendous group of guys. As an offensive tackle, you had to work against this guy in practice, and uh, I mean this as a compliment. He had a reputation for being a little bit nasty, and and for a defensive lineman, that's not a bad thing. And I know Copeland and Curry and all those guys, but but Jeremy Nunley was a big, strong. Uh, physical football player he had to be a load to go up against in practice yes he was he, he was very tough to go against and um he, he was one of those guys that, that i didn't really particularly enjoy going up against too much but but um it was all fun and and, and good natured and and we made each other better um as players working against each other and but he certainly was a very very good player very tough player to block you know, you, you mentioned his personality, kind of a jokester, and, and I didn't know him well. I hadn't met him, but uh, talking with people that did know him well, like yourself and, and, and others that played with him and, and were personal friends with him after football, he had a, he had a big personality, kind of a, a good, old, good old boy, country boy from Winchester, Tennessee. Just, uh, just a real good guy to, to hang out with and be around, wasn't he? Oh, absolutely. Um, and in fact, um, he used to kid around with me. You know, I, I have my name is Kareem, obviously, and so there are lots of jokes that go go along with having a name like Kareem, like Kareem. And and so anyway, he used to uh, kid around. And uh, there's a song by um, Prince. I can't remember exactly the name of it, but but uh, that song Cream Get on Top. <laughs> anyway, that was one of his favorite things to do, and that was uh, always fun. Uh, we got together and, and kidded around. You know, uh, for a, for a guy that was on that that '92 team like yourself, and I'm gonna talk with John Copeland actually in the in the final final segment. Um, I guess it's a it's a stark reminder that that's been you know 26 years ago, and uh, all you guys that played on that team are you know things start happening in life. We start we start losing people, we start losing friends, and and the older you get, the more people you lose. And I guess when you have a teammate pass away like this unexpectedly it's uh it's a reminder of that isn't it kareem oh it sure is it's definitely a reminder that life is short and uh you know it's hard to believe it's been been that long long ago since uh we won that national championship and we were on that team together and it just uh seems like uh, as each year goes by the faster it goes and 
And uh, we just have to appreciate um, and not take for granted what we have and and the people we have to spend that time with. Um, and we just have, sometimes we do take it for granted uh, too often, and we just need to remember, you know, life is precious and life is short, and and uh, just remember the things that are the most important. And that's the the folks that we have around us, our family, friends. Well, it's it's certainly. Uh... A tragedy that Jeremy Nunnally leaving us at the age of 46. Uh, condolences to his wife and two daughters, as you already mentioned, and uh, we'll keep them in our thoughts. Thanks for joining me and remembering Jeremy Nunnally, Kareem. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for having me.